How about Valentine's Day? And if you're married, what a great time to focus on deepening and strengthening your marriage through Christ. Rennie and Kathy Burris of Green Hope Coaching really want to see both of those things happen for our area married couples, and they're hosting Celebrate the Dance February 15th. Now don't go away. Coming up very soon on Faith and Friends, Ben Reif and Matt Fink will join Andy for a special tribute to National Bubblegum Day. But first, Dancy returns to tell us more about that and other enriching opportunities coming up through Green Hope. Well, it's been said that life is a journey, not a destination, and that journey can get a little messy sometimes, and we need help. And joining me now is Kathy Burris. Kathy is a Green Hope coach, and yep. um, I am thrilled to have you here because it is true. You know, no two days are the same, and we sometimes need help getting through um, some of the hard times and even some of the good times. So I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Yeah. So let's talk about Green Hope coaching. What's it all about? Well, um, I'm a life, certified life and marriage coach. Okay. And I primarily work with women who are going through some sort of transition. And it's most often in those transitions that they ask the questions, wait a minute, what am I doing? <laughs> and what do I want to be doing? Yes. And um, the thing I hear most often is, I want to make a difference in my world. How do I do that? And so we just work through the process. You know, as you said, a journey, uh, a lot of what we do is, is I pull them up in the Green Hope helicopter and we take a look at our highway of life and, and we look at the different lanes of our traffic and make sure we're heading the direction we really want to be going. Yeah, because the world can tell you you're supposed to be going one road and you're feeling like, no, your gut is really telling you it should be another road. That's right. So what do you follow? Your gut? Well, I think you have to, you have to go back and, and, and look at where you want to be. Okay. What do you want to be true of you down the line? What do you want to be true of your life, of your family, of your profession? Um, where do you want to be generous? Where do you want to be, you know, strong and bold? Um, and identify what the what the end result is. And when you start with the end in mind, which is such a great principle to begin with, you you can start to work from there. And so yeah, it's part gut, it's part skill and ability, it's part life experience. Mm -hmm. um, and you put it all together to kind of determine what's really most important. I often think about the legacy that we leave mm -hmm. as well. And, you know, I think when you think, when you really focus on that, that can determine a lot of the decisions you'll be making Absolutely. in the future. So Absolutely. does this apply also to marriages? Because as you said, you are a marriage coach. Do you, how, how do you combine those two paths and, and make them as straight as possible? Well, and that, that is the challenge. Yeah. You know, we have two different highways learning to merge together, and that's, that's right. usually why we struggle so much. But um, what, what I've chosen to do with Green Hope Coaching is to develop an event called Celebrate the Dance. And the fun of that is that we do a one-hour ballroom dance lesson, and then we talk about what we learned about our relationship on wow. the dance floor. And it's a really fun, engaging. Some people are a little threatened by it, but um, if it's that environment where we're learning together and if anybody's looking at you it's because you've got the dance step down and they're trying to figure out what how to do it to theirs. That's probably true. Yeah, um, but the the event itself, Celebrate the Dance, is going to be February 15th um, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a Sunday afternoon. Most couples have a little bit more time than often. Mm -hmm. And it's an invitation to invest in this love of your life. And uh, our focus this week will be uh, teamwork. And so we're going to be building on how do we not do this, but do this and work together using our skills together, fighting together defensively to protect our marriage, um, working together offensively to build our relationship and um, accomplish the things we really want to be true of our marriages, which too often we don't create that vision for our marriage. No, and you know, with the divorce rate um, as it is right now, where do you think, you know, we blame money, we blame, um, you know, jobs, we blame all of that, but really what is the true cause of the breakdown in our marriages? Does it start from the very beginning actually and not thinking about the things you've talked about? Well, not having a vision, uh, two people coming into a relationship with two different visions, mm -hmm. um, two different sets of goals, and you, you merge them as best you can. Um, so, so creating the vision is very definitely the thing. The other part of that is we haven't learned 
to authentically communicate with one another. And so we're assuming a lot of things from each other that aren't necessarily true. And we build, start building a relationship on something that's not accurate. Yes. And so we, we don't get where we want to be. Do we need to be in crisis before we see a marriage counselor? Well, we don't need to be. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Too often we are. Uh -huh. Too often there's a hiccup somewhere and we're looking for something. And a coach is different than a counselor. Okay. In the sense that a coach will help you move forward. But it needs to be from a place of somewhat health. If you're dealing with a lot of the baggage of your past, you can't move forward because you're, you're really chained to some things. So then I would refer you to a marriage counselor, um, someone okay. that could really help you deal with past issues and past um, behaviors yeah. that have brought you to a place of unhealth in your marriage. But, but most couples, many couples, are at some place of health and then they can move forward. Okay. So. Well, very good. I could talk to you for a long time, oh, Kathy. I too. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot that um, you could help us with. But for anyone out there listening right now, is there a phone number, a website sure. that they could go to to get more information? Absolutely, they can go to GreenHopeCoaching.com, and uh, that's where I I blog um, pretty regularly. Do you? Okay. And uh, then I also have my events and things listed. That okay. are there. If they want to register for Celebrate the Dance, they can call me at 419-306-8311 or they can email me at kathy at greenhopecoaching.com. Okay, sounds great. Well, thank you so much and you thanks bet. for the work you're doing. Thank you. All right, and we'll throw it back to you.